Alright, so what's up? What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. And I'm going to start my lecture on, well, more like a tutorial. I'm going to show all the knowledge, uh, otherwise known as kinematics. Kinematics. It's going to be a pretty huge lesson today because I'm going to show you guys everything in kinematics. Only one dimensional motion only, but yeah, so no projectile motion or anything. I'm just gonna cover on one dimensional motion. So, scalar and a vector quantity. So, scalar quantity is well, I'm just I'm not gonna write it down because everyone should know this. A scalar quantity has a magnitude, um, so something like a length um, or the distance. So, scalar vectors. So scalar, so distance is a scalar quantity, uh, and then vectors, uh, scalar uh, quantities without, you know, with just a magnitude, how a size, nothing with a direction or anything else. A vector, on the other, uh, a vector on the other hand, uh, is has a magnitude and a direction. So, you know, if something is on the east and add with something on the west and they have the same magnitude they're going to cancel each other out so it will be zero but the scalar quantity so the distance is not going to be zero it's going to be above zero so yeah so scalar quantities don't really have uh, negative but vectors do so you can have a negative direction so yeah so distance so displacement is vectors displacement Time is a scalar quantity. We don't have anything. We don't really have t negative time. Actually, we do. But uh, well, theoretically we can. But um, that'd be for theoretical physics, and we don't want to do uh, for the sake of Newtonian physics. We just want to talk about time as an absolute thing. All right. So nothing. Speed is a scalar quantity, and velocity. Is a vector quantity. So velocity is a vector quantity. Alright. So uh, that's the notation for velocity is equals to that. Anything with a vector, you just have to put, you know, an arrow on the head. So speed is that, and then time is that, and then displacement is an S with that. Alright, make sure you guys know the difference. I mean, not displacement, distance. So distance is that, uh, and then displacement is an S with that thing, with an arrow. Okay, so that's, that's it. Um, so, whenever you have a, well, alright, so let's talk about velocity for now. So velocity, uh, the normal velocity so if you have a graph and velocity like that and then time is like that so if you have a graph and it looks like this then that means the velocity is equal to displacement over time it means that this is a constant velocity throughout so it's a straight line it's constant so nothing really changes it's constant, alright? So therefore, it will just be velocity equals distance, I mean displacement over time. But, uh, if you want to find the instantaneous velocity, uh, then you, you have to do calculus and stuff, but um, here's a better formula, well, here's a, an easy formula for instantaneous velocity. So, instantaneous velocity in is equals to the V final minus V initial I mean not V I'm so dumb right. displacement final minus the displacement, displacement initial over time or you can write it as time final minus time initial it, either way it's, it doesn't matter so yeah that's instantaneous so this is f for graphs like this so if you have a graph 
and like that, right? You want to find the displacement here. I mean, the velocity right here. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to draw better. That's displacement. If you want to find the displacement right here, you wouldn't just want to use this formula. Because if you use this formula, it will just become that. And this is a pretty good approximation of that, but it's not very good. Uh, it's not the exact thing we want to find. All right, so that's why you want to find you want to use this formula for you know to find that. Yep. All right. So next is um, is the average velocity. So the average velocity. So this is only when you want to find the average of something, so it's the total displacement. You want to find the average of something on the graph, so that's when you do this. Over total time. So this sometime, the average can be this as well, but not all the time, alright? Uh, average velocity can be, can be used on, you know, a graph such as this and then it'll transfer it to this alright but you don't really always use this because sometimes it just it doesn't well you can't add everything in the displacement so yeah so this is the average velocity anyways the average velocity can be shown in if the acceleration is constant, acceleration is constant, acceleration constant. I'll, I'll just say that because a straight line. So if acceleration constant, then then velocity average is equals to the displacement so if the acceleration is constant you will know that the average velocity is equals to the final velocity the plus the initial velocity over 2 because it's the average of 2 velocity so the average of 2 velocities so these are the different formulas of all velocities and it depends on which case you want to use them but for most of, of the part you would want to use this formulas um, if you want a good formula to use in every single case you have to study calculus and I will have a video soon on calculus kinematics so um, make sure to check the video or so it's represented as this A with an arrowhead and acceleration is going to be equals to uh, the final velocity minus the initial velocity the difference in velocity over time or it can be the final velocity difference in velocity minus the initial over the Time final minus the time initial depends on how you do it. So that's the formula you want to use for acceleration. So if you want to find the rate of acceleration, you want to do that. Uh, anyways, uh, let's do something that's what about oh yes, of course. And uh, if you want to find the Okay, so also velocity. Yeah, so you know how the average velocity is equals to total distance over time. It, it can be equal to that plus that uh, two if the acceleration is constant. But the average velocity can also be equals to the velocity times time plus velocity times time dot dot dot. Over velocity, over time, plus time, dot dot dot. So why is this? Because velocity, I mean, because displacement equals velocity times time. And if a question, 
and if a question wants you to find the total displacement and it doesn't give you the total displacement it only gives you the velocity of some part and the time of some part and the velocity of some part and the time of some part then you do this all right you add up all the velocity times time so you find the velocity times time and then you find the displacement and you add them all up over the time that you added it'll be equals to average velocity okay I'm just going to do a crash chord TLDR of motion graph so if you have you have you start with displacement and time and if you have a person you know walking a certain amount of dis displacement uh, over a certain amount of time and if it looks like this then that means the person is traveling in an average velocity average velocity because the average velocity I mean a constant velocity if the person traveling like that in a displacement graph then it will look like if you take the slope so by the way slope or the gradient of something if this changes in y and changes in x this only holds true if it's you know this uh, m is only equals to dy over dx if it's um, if it's constant a straight line or something like that but if not then you have to use calculus anyways yeah so that's the case and then if you do acceleration there will be no acceleration acceleration at all okay but it, what if displacement was you know a curve if it was a curve then the velocity would be what the velocity time graph would be a straight line it means it's increasing in velocity and the acceleration would be constant acceleration so the earth has a constant acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared so yeah uh, uh, what if the what if the velocity was like that what would the acceleration be so acceleration will just be the jerky motion so it's called a jerk motion so it'll be like that a straight line so yeah that's how to do motion graphs motion graphs you know all the formulas of kinematics uh, so you know all the velocity formulas displacement formulas and the acceleration formulas and um, 